let's take a quick look at something that to me is a little weird, but nonetheless, uh, I'm very happy it exists. We'll take a quick look at the power loader from the 1992, I believe, Kenner Aliens toy line. So I started by saying this is kind of an odd thing because um, I'm, what am I? I'm 45 years old. I grew up in the 80s and early 90s. And to me, Aliens is like one of, if not the best sequel of all time. It's it's not really comparable, I think, to the first Alien movie. They're, they're apples and oranges. But when I think of movies that were sort of like the be-all, end-all to me as a kid growing up in the 80s, that's a short, short list containing movies like Predator, uh, Die Hard, and Aliens is right there. I watched that movie, oh, oh God, hundreds of times up until this point in my life. Um, the fact that Kenner made a toy line that's clearly based, or it's geared toward younger kids who in 1992, I mean, I guess I, I would still be of an age where I might enjoy playing with toys like this, but barely like I just barely am still sort of in that realm of of toys that I'm actually looking to to have family buy me so I can play with so if you grew up and you love the alien toy line forgive me I just I don't really know who this is geared toward because like the fan base that knew and loved aliens the movie I I feel like they were they were aged out of toys by the time these hit shelves but whatever and I don't I don't really know if there was a I don't think there was like a a companion cartoon or anything like that um yeah i don't know i'm if you stumbled upon my channel and you've never been here before hi welcome thanks for watching i am not like a toy historian of any sort i am a nostalgia addict and i buy things because of the memories that they kind of reinforce and keep alive um so when i'm reviewing stuff like this i just go based off of my feelings i don't i don't do a lot of research Maybe I should. But anyway, here is the box. And if you did grow up around the same time I did and you saw and loved the movie Aliens, then the power loader is something that is burned into your memory. This is one of the most iconic items from pop culture when we were kids. Um, and while this doesn't really capture what we saw in the film, I'm just happy that there is a rendition of it in toy form that I can own. But anyway, let's get this out of the box and then I'll, I'll yap about it some more. So yeah, it, it definitely does the trick and captures, I think, kind of enough of the spirit of what the power loader was. Uh, but that's not without saying it also has a, a lot of shortcomings. So let's talk about it. I was lucky enough to find a seller uh, that threw in the Ripley figure uh, with the power loader, which I'm really happy about. She does not come with the power loader. And this is not even a toy line I have anything else, any other uh, items from. I have a couple figures in box of the Alien vs. Predator toy line by Kenner, which very much looks and feels like a, like, an extension of what we're seeing here. But for those of you who are interested, here is what she looks like. Not much like what uh, Sigourney Weaver looked like in the film, but again, that's that's part of the oddity of this line to me because I, I don't know the background of it. Um, it looks very much like it's modeled after a cartoon or something like that. I've seen uh, molds of some of the, the, the figures from this line. I do believe some of them were pulled from Cadillacs and Dinosaurs or, or Cadillacs and Dinosaurs pulled these designs, something like that. But anyway, here's Ripley, a uh, basic figure with uh, five points of articulation. And I think she came with these two guns that were thrown into the mix. This one is pretty cool. As well as this little guy. But again, this is the real reason why I am shooting this video. So it's a yellow mech suit that is reminiscent of what we saw in the movie Aliens. And that to me is kind of enough because as a collector, I have 
a higher price point, couple display shelves on the other side of my, my basement where I have NECA stuff and Haya toys and things like that. I don't have a power loader. I do believe NECA offered one, but is crazy priced right now. So this is the only option I could find other than like a model kit, which I didn't really want to put together. So this does a good enough job for me of capturing sort of like the spirit of it. But again, there's, there's a lot that's different about this. It's on treads. Um, so the legs don't individually articulate and the treads don't even have like little wheels built into it, which is a little bit of a bummer. It just sort of, it's stationary. Uh, the arms ratchet, they don't swing outwardly. They just kind of flex and extend. Um, there are buttons on the back of each arm that when you push in, we have spring loaded claws on the end of, of each arm, which don't look like the claws in the, in the movie, which I have burned into my memory as well. So that's, that's a bummer, but again, I'm nitpicking. I mean, it's, it's clearly not too close to the top loader that we, we know and love from the film. This bar swings up and down so you can add a figure in there. Um, they've got this, these two brackets to hold around the waist, these, swing in and out i guess those are like control arms and lastly you have a missile firing gun that kind of pivots on top and fires decently you also have a rotating gun on either arm and i always love molded pistons Working ones are even better. Um, the detail is not minimal, but it's not complicated or over over designed either. This is definitely, in my estimations, like a toy that's meant to be played with by like a 10 year old boy, um, which again, harkens back to what I was saying earlier is, I don't know who this toy line was, was aimed toward. Um, if somebody knows if I'm missing something, if there's some source material or like a, I don't know, like an, a companion comic series that was ongoing in which the artwork looked like this, let me know. Um, but for me, I picked this up just because Aliens is a very, very special movie uh, to me and to my childhood. Um, so having something that represents the top, uh, the power loader um, from that film is, as a collector, as a toy collector, is almost like a must have. So I'm glad that this is here now. And that is just a quick look at the power loader from the Aliens toy line from the early 90s put out by Kenner.